Hi friends, Dr. Gaurav Gupta, Aapka Apna Child Specialist. And today I have with me a very, very special guest. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Rajendra Vaidya. Welcome, sir, to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Uh, Dr. Vaidya is a very, very old friend of mine. But uh, more than that, I would love to tell you a little bit about him. But before that, do you know what we're going to talk about today? Aaj hum baat karne ja rahe hai, Corbevax between the age of 12 to 14 years. Mm -hmm. So he is an expert on vaccines. Dr. Vaidya has been practicing in Aurangabad for a very long time. He is the past president of Maharashtra IAP. He has been the chairman of Maharashtra Pedicon. And he has his own hospital called the Vaidya Children Hospital in Aurangabad. Aurangabad, as most of us are aware, is famous for Ajanta and Elora. And I'm sure Sir ke paas kaafi log aay honge, uh, Sir ne ghumaya bhi honga bhoat logo ko Ajanta and Elora kiya ke liye. Yes. So, uh, I want to take you straight away to the topic which is Corbevax. And I honestly want to know ki agar hum short mein baat karein to kya ye vaccine hai sir and how uh, different it is from the vaccines that are currently available. Because humne sirf Covaxim aur Covishield ke baare mein maximum sunte hai aur Pfizer Moderna ke baare mein sunte hai. So how is it different and what is it? Yeah, uh, thanks Gaurav for giving me this opportunity and thanks everybody uh, for watching this uh, discussion. Uh, Corbevax is a basically protein cellulite vaccine. Uh, it's a known platform like we uh, seen that uh, uh, mRNA vaccines, then vectors are born vaccines. They are little newer one, but this is a quite old. Uh, if you'll go in the back history, hepatitis B vaccine has been on this platform, so I've been it almost more than two decades. And it's having good safety profile, efficacy profile. And this uh, basically uh, is developed by Texas Child Hospital uh, and Viral, uh, Baylor Medical College. They are vaccine specialists. They have started this for uh, ancestor of this SARS-CoV-2, like a MERS and SARS. In way back 2011, they have developed this vaccine. But that disease doesn't progress, so they don't wait. So they were having platform ready and then started doing this. And good part of this vaccine, subunit vaccine, it's a tested, time-tested technology. What they have done, the pioneer, Dr. Peter Hotage, uh, Hotage, what he has done, he has done it is a patent-free. So that is the biggest advantage for the low, low and middle income uh, countries. Because if it goes in patent, that will be costly vaccine. So he has made patent-free. So anybody can avail this uh, uh, technology and produce the vaccine. That is the basic. And it's a really good vaccine, safe vaccine. And there have been uh, discussions, there studies are not there. Then, no, definitely there are studies that have been done in phase one, two, two, three trials. We'll talk in this subsequent, but it is an excellent vaccine. Okay, and, in so in India, and in India, biological E has been given uh, to produce by this uh, Texas uh, Child uh, Hospital. They are given uh, authority or they are given uh, contract between they and the, the, the uh, biological E is going to produce and they are going to, they are producing this vaccine in India. Okay, so uh, just to understand that this is a vaccine which we have technology, old technology, unlike the yes. vaccines which we have been using for other vaccines. So yes. it is the vaccine which we have been using for hepatitis B, and I think yes. in influenza we have used vaccine yes. technology. Yes. 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 So as a, platform, as, as a technology, we are totally not worried about this vaccine and we have lots of data. Yes. And as you said correctly, ki because it's a... Um, vaccine jo patent free hai aur ye US yes. develop ho ke India ne technology liya hai. So it's likely to be a very cost effective vaccine also and a very safe and effective vaccine. That yes. is that yes. what you were saying to say? Yes, sir? yes, 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 yes. Okay. So uh, before we go on to the <clears throat> manufacturers, just a question ki, uh, this is something which parents, you know, come and ask me that, sir, ye 12 se 14 saal ke liye sirf Corbevax kyu hum de rahe? Why not, uh, why is the government not giving them Covaxim, for example? So how do you answer this question? Yeah, this is uh, basically uh, what I feel that is because these are the logistic problem. Because the even if you'll see Covaxin, that has also been uh, going trial from two years. This vaccine yeah. is also going trial under five above five years. So they are mm -hmm. time tested. Only thing is that now there is a huge requirement, and there should should be have some simplified way. So if you'll give particular vaccine to particular age group, the logistically it is simplified to give vaccine to particular that age. This, there will not be mixed match while giving the vaccine. I think that is the first and foremost is the. Uh, mm. And they should not be overburdened on particular pharma, pharma industry. That is another, uh, I think, government is thinking in the direction. So they can give different vaccines for different pharma. So they will not be overburdened and the streamline will be there. 
for the supply because in between you must have seen if there is a lot of demand then there will be some shortage and there is some problem like what happened in the uk in first phase of this uh, covid vaccine so i think to avoid this they, they, this must be otherwise they are both say safe vaccine about two years of days so if i understand correctly jo aap keh rahe sir ki ye ki it's totally the government ka decision on based on yes, ki bhai yes, exactly. how to use the vaccines in an effective manner effective. and i think you're absolutely right because agar hum dekhte hain government centers mein i took my daughter for the vaccine so they have a separate area for these 12 to 14 yes, year old yes. kids us pe bada bada likha hai corbe vax 12 to 14 so there is no confusion ki kisko first dose lag raha hai kisko second lag raha hai kisko kaun sa vaccine lag raha hai we know if you are a 12 to 14 year old child aapko yes. ye vaccine lagega and you are absolutely good even though the other vaccines are fine and yeah. i think today it's even more topical sir because jaise bhi main aapse baat kar raha tha ki you know the covaxim ke upar thoda sa stock jo unka thoda sa kam ho sakta hai because yeah. who has raised some queries about uh, them so i think it's a good idea that you split different age groups with different yeah, vaccines yeah, yeah. that you shortage yes. now ho yes right yeah. okay so um okay the other thing which parents have been asking me ki who is this biological e and like are they a very reliable kind of manufacturer matlab inhone koi aur vaccine banayi hai kya inka vaccine who approved hai so what what do you say to that sir yeah yeah biologically is a good company is indian company it's quite old company it's a hyderabad based company and they are having uh, two three four who pre qualified vaccine particularly for the typhoid vaccine their je vaccine is there Yeah, there are so many vaccines that they have hepatitis uh, vaccine that uh, come up recently it's a, a time tested and uh, trustable and uh, worth company to it is basically indian company and uh, they are uh, known in this vaccine since 2 uh, 3 decades this is a known company you know, people don't have to worry about the company so if i if i remember reading correctly uh, india mein jo maximum tetanus vaccine use hui hai that is yeah, biological e wali tetanus so jo hum logo ne sabne chhod khane pe lagwai hai so there is no problem no problem yeah, yeah. with that okay yeah. um okay so thoda sa bhi technical ho jata hai because we yeah. have a lot of pediatricians also who ask and parents are also very aware nowadays yeah. um is it true that we don't have a lot of data about this vaccine and kyunki chhota bachcha hai you know we are precious bachcha hai should we wait for some time before we take the vaccine what is the phase 3 data as far as this vaccine is concerned to ye do teen prashn ek sath maine join kar diye hain yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, what is your take on this sir yeah ideally there is no need to fear about the studies because studies are going on in since last i think 3 4 months uh, when they started they started initially because there are phase phase 1 2 3 what they do in first phase they take hardly few hundred or three figures uh, uh patient to or healthy uh, adults to have a safety data and immune data is there any side effect how much dose to be given and in phase 2 they take more in thousands to take immunogenicity and if uh, they see how is the immunogenic vaccine they do you know on the healthy adults and phase 3 they go for the efficacy trial but now for on ethical ground nobody can do it uh, efficacy trial for each and every vaccine when there are some model do efficacy trial may over then they call the immune bridging studies so on that basis the vaccine new vaccine is uh, compared and uh, they got the licensure all vaccines in covid they are eua emergency use authorization because long term safety data is not there because hardly is a two year old disease so it has been eua so it's a good vaccine more than 3000 in indian 20 sites they have been using now phase 3 they are doing studies on 624 if you recall uh, covax is on the 520 so definitely almost 100 uh, candidates are more in this 625 but definitely data is there uh, very recently on march 16 there is a paper in uh, made archive they have compared this uh, corvevax and uh, covi shield about but uh, of course above 18 of the age and what they found definitely the neutralizing antibody titers then the anti rbd uh, uh, immunoglobulins and th one skew response more technically is more better than covid shield particularly and safety is definitely almost equal or better local side effects specific so definitely and then normally what happens we start studies in the adult and they are percolated and they do they extrapolate in this and being a known platform It's a definitely safe vaccine, so people don't have to worry. There is a small studies there, or study has not been come out, but definitely it's a safe vaccine. It's a good vaccine. Now, what are studies are there on the short? Absolutely safe vaccine. Even I can call this some vaccines in the vector bound or mRNA vaccine. They are on using millions of doses. They have found few side effects. At least they are not at this in this short study also. 
and this is a time tested technology so definitely the side effects going to be much less than these newer the vaccines so so you are i mean it's a very interesting point that you raised that this vaccine ke upar jo bhi study hui hai that have shown good safety better safety than the current vaccines yes, and correct, right. even yes. the even the titers are in fact better if i remember better. that uh, yes. compared the titers also titers, so i don't yes. think we have to worry about both safety and efficacy yes, as far as corbevax is concerned and as i have said clearly you know that uh, i have already taken my daughter and given it to her yeah, but yeah, now yeah. let's look at what the parents are saying hmm. दे आर से सर केस तो टोटल पूरे हिंदुस्तान में दो हजार हो रहे हैं अभी सो देर आर ओनली टू थाउजेंड केसेज ऑफ कोविड कोविड तो खत्म हो गया है सो वाई शुड वी गेट द वैक्सीनेशन डन वॉट डू टेल पेरेंट्स वेन दे आस्क यू सच क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट नाउ इफ यूल सी पोलियो इज नॉट देर ऑलमोस्ट पोलियो इज द फ्री Even triple uh, this the, the diphtheria, tetanus, much more uh, less than what we see in the diphtheria list. Definitely, we are getting surge, but to prevent community transmission, to prevent new at this, you know, the all the the variant are coming because of the RNA virus. We get a lot of uh, variant, so we don't know tomorrow which new variant will come. So at least we should have something uh, fighting initial force, and then we can switch over to final force. So for that, <clears throat> vaccine is must. and another thing is that vaccine if you will not give what we, in past experience why we have got the variant with a lot of population in the africa they are not vaccinated and mostly the variant are come from that the immunocompromised patient so it's not like that now disease is not there so we should vaccinate we should get a good herd immunity so even in future the some vaccine or variant comes this will work at least for timing and then we'll get time to get some new vaccine in this so that is the basis to get herd good herd immunity they <clears throat> many times they harbor the infection they go to the house they may transfer to the grandparent those who are more vulnerable so to avoid that plus they are confident that they can go to the school they can uh, intermingle with the peer if they are vaccinated they are confidently go so it will have impact on education emotion and social so definitely cases are less severity is less but what studies has found that what are less quantity we get mic we call multi systemic syndrome is much less those who are in vaccinated so that's an additional benefit so even there is no uh, data the disease the burden is less in children uh, side effects are much less but vaccine is needed and i think everybody those who are uh, uh, in that age group they must take the vaccine very very important points mujhe mujhe se ek cheez yaad aayi i had a child who you know who was in this age group uh, less than 15 aur tab ye koi vaccine Absolutely. release nahi hua tha corbevax aur wo yeah. bachcha aake mujhe uh, bol raha hai ki ye mere jo maa baap hai ye kya mujhe marna chahte hai kya they are sending me to school bila khud ko to vaccine laga liya mujhe yeah. lagaya nahi <laughs> so that kind of panic is also put at rest yeah. and uh, and i think one more point i you probably will agree ki abhi is samay hum europe mein us mein itne cases dekh rahe hain we are also yes. concerned about the fourth wave happening in india so by yes. vaccinating we will definitely reduce the chances kaisa kuch hoga yes yes and what studies has found 12 to 14 years adolescent they behave exactly like adults and what are complications like post covid complications we yet don't know much about it so they this is that's why government is trying they are not come below 12 years so in uh, next time they might come but 14 to 18 years the adolescent they have many time behave like adult in their complication rate this is it that's why government is at least targeting that population so above 12 definitely you must take the vaccine so you have already probably answered this but let me again clarify it yeah. ki sir ab school start ho rahe hain offline bacche school ja rahe hain to is it a good time to actually vaccinate children now yeah yeah def- definitely because uh, once we'll get it but one vaccine not going to protect immediately when you are getting second dose after 28 days after that 14 days will start your uh, protection so but till then if you are given vaccinated now uh, recently if you have seen the news the many times the covid restrictions behavior uh, restrictions has been removed but what personally i feel we should follow st- uh, still that behavior not for the covid but we will see the many other diseases has been uh, uh, reduced in their incidences in their capacity. so we should follow this behavior and plus take vaccine so that will be more ideal yeah. yes so sub sub pediatricians ki opd kam ho rakhi hai because of all the infection this is yeah. not happening nowadays <laughs> okay so we are coming to the end uh, parents were asking me this ki abhi school shuru ho rahe hain to now lot of schools are going to have these camps jaise 15 se 18 saal ke bhi school mein camps hue the so should they take the vaccines in these school camps or should they take it in the government center or it doesn't really make any difference no 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 it doesn't make any difference what if, from where they are getting vaccine they must take it because 
government has made it such a wonderful facilities because there are very less side effect what you have seen and they are having all equipped like, facilities to handle this side effect if they get some uh, ai we called as a adverse effect following immunization but all are trained in that if you will see the all government hospital even they are not taking the government hospital they have taken some uh, hall like ima hall they have taken some small uh, hall and there they vaccinated so nothing has happened so in the school definitely they are having some medical person they are having ambulances backup is good there so absolutely there is no fear they can take at the school also and they can take at the government also so i i will appeal from where they are getting vaccine confidently they should take it and they must take it and sir uh, are you aware of the actual procedure about uh, is there anything difference 12 to 14 years mein versus jo bade bachche hain adults hain as far as taking the vaccine in the government sector is concerned is there anything different about that no 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 you have to same follow the same you have to register it you have to take it the same so you have to follow it then nothing is different and then we have to wait for half an hour that is so the only interesting thing that i found was ki ek to inhone bilkul alag bana rakha hai for 12 to 14 years it's not combined with the older ones and because uh, uh, because i think the number of people are less so they are allowing walk in for this you don't if you have taken an appointment on covaxin up great but agar aap seedhe walk in bhi karte ho yeah, there is yeah. not much rush also so you can take the vaccine straight away like that so so that is there so sir we are coming to the end anything any final take for you like what do you want to talk or koi bhi maine cheez batai nahi ho something like that you want to share your experiences about corbevax ya vaccine no, uh, yeah definitely the those who were in that category they are or government is offering them they must take vaccine they must complete their schedule and another thing they should take their regular vaccines also they should not intermingle they should not give they were taken vaccine now should i take other these vaccines other so definitely they should must go and take their routine vaccines also they should not whatever they are in uh, uh, missing something uh, vaccines particularly like a 10 year they have missed they have missed typhoid vaccine their chicken pox so definitely they can take their uh, routine vaccination also and with the vaccination they should have appropriate covid appropriate behavior still the government has lifted the ban but they should go Yeah, in the same way, so they will definitely be having a very healthy life in Ayurveda. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I just wanted to take your opinion. Something very deep in my mind. Now, I have. What is your opinion for children less than twelve uh, years? Like, क्या हमें eventually जब vaccine आएगा, so should we take it? मतलब uh, what what is your take on children less than twelve years? Two to twelve years, for example. I think whatever the data has come from Covaxin. 5 to mm-hmm. 12 even they have started about 2 years also they are quite safe so there is okay. no problem at present so still will wait for few data to uh, emerge but what they are given in mrna vaccines and barring few incidences it is also quite safe in a western country they are giving mrna vaccines even less than the 12 years also now they are uh, rolling it out but definitely studies are there companies are doing a uh, hard work on that and in india also they are doing even if you'll see this corbevax i think serum is coming with a similar vaccine covax they are also uh, applied for the commission that another vaccine say on the same platform will get so definitely we'll see but the vaccine is safe and even comes below 12 for days we i think we'll roll 5 to 12 so definitely that time also will be we'll ask the, the people to go and take the vaccines thanks a lot sir it was a real pleasure i'm talking to dr rajendra vaidya he is a uh, thank you real real nice person uh, and he's been a vaccine expert and he's he's really a very very thoroughly read gentleman matlab agar unke academics pe aap jayenge so he can really take you into the depth of vaccines i hope this was really really useful sir thanks a lot for being on the show yes thank you thank you